Would you rather drink you airline that. coffee or eat your own boogers? <laughs> boogers. That's a tough one. That, that's actually a good Oh, one. he probably knows a good news. That water they use is recycled water, right? You shouldn't drink coffee on the airline. No comment on that one. See, I knew I it. Can't. I knew it. How can I help you? Fugitive extradition. Oh, is he dangerous? What did he do? Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. Get him on board. Let's have a good flight. So what was the hardest stunt? that you did in the movie. Oh, God. I, 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 for me, probably, by the way, one, flying that bloody plane, because I, I felt like, especially in the last sequence, that I was trying to lift the plane up with my hands. And I did that for days and I screwed myself up. So, but, so you guys, you, you went in through training in an actual went, simulator? Went through training in a simulator, but I'm talking about the mock-up cockpit. Okay. And we're on a gimbal, so we're flying all over the place. And at the end, it's like, like literally pulling. It wasn't necessary. Yeah. I was just getting so into it and doing it for days that I messed myself up. But but I also had a fight that was a all in one, and that never happens. It was very very rare. That was our yep. first day we met. He was watching, um, and that was so intense because typically you break that down into five or six bits and you make sure each hit works with the camera. You did this all in one take. So we did it all in one take and it is so desperate and messy and exhausting. So that's what you were feeling and living. And I'd be halfway through that fight. I literally couldn't take a breath. I was, nothing was coming in. It was wow. really scary because I go, intense. I'm only here. I still got to get to this bit, do this, and go over here, and go over there. Um, but it worked great because yeah. that's my character. You know, he ha doesn't have that experience. He is desperate, and I feel like if he dies in that moment, everybody dies with him. Everyone's lying with the guy. Yeah, yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. We're gonna need your help. You're gonna need this. Form of military or something? You could say that. Why'd they lock you up? No one cares what really happened. But they say redemption can be found in the most unusual places. There was a moment when I was uh, like bashing someone's head with a sledgehammer. Oh, you know, Jesus. The sledgehammers are heavy. You know, you, you, <laughs> yeah. you gotta, you know, I'm trying to make it look cool. I'm trying to make it look like this is just a, this just, oh, me grab a sledgehammer. Just, but the sledgehammers are heavy, so you, when you're trying to swing it, especially in a, in a film, I'm not trying to hit the guy in the head for real. Sure. I'm trying to pull the sledgehammer, I'm trying to swing it just, just inches from his head. And I remember doing that, trying You're to get- You're swinging a real sledgehammer. So they had a like real a one and a fake one. Wow. The fake one is just hard to make it look real. It's hard right. to make that thing look heavy and there, sell yeah. it. Yeah. So I tried it a few times and then I just, I said, let me just try the let real one. Let me just one. bash this guy. Let me just hit him in the, <laughs> the heck? And he, he, he was all for it. He was like, listen, man, if you hit me in the head, it's cool. I'm like- It's method acting, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, if you hit me in the head, it's cool, it's cool. But it, it worked, but it's, it's really just, just making that thing oh. just- Pulling, because I remember swinging it, swinging the sledgehammer and pulling it about a foot from his head. But you're trying to, I mean, you're trying to swing it with momentum and just really stop it before you hit his head. And yeah, he had a was, lot of trust in you with that. Damn. Well, you know, I, I tried it without him first. I demonstrated that I think I can do it. And then we yeah. put his head in there. And then we, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> I think I can. Hi, with Pete. Yes, sir. What was your funniest interaction with passenger? A passenger? With a passenger. Um, so I, this is actually pretty cool. I um, was flying for one of my first regional airlines. I was a, a new, newly minted captain, like a Captain Butler here. And uh, I had one of my good friends flying and Terry Crews came on our airplane, huh. we're going from LA to San Francisco. And um, my friend Tyler, he had recognized him at first. And so we like rode on a car like, hey, Mr. Cruz, if you don't mind, up, mind coming huh. up and saying hi after the flight, we'd love to meet you, big fans. And uh, so he came up, Tyler was talking to him after the flight and I had to, like I, First, my first memory of Terry Crews was walk a thousand miles from white chicks. Bro. How did you know? I love this song. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past and I'm homebound. So I started playing the song. Oh he started God. like laughing like crazy and started doing a little head bob oh with me. God. And uh, gave me a little ad lib with the song, so that was, that stuck out. It was a good, funny memory. Yeah, sure. that's cool. That's cool. He's. That's a, cool. I, I made a movie with him. Oh, gamer, really? Yeah, gamer. gamer. And he is such a such a good guy. Great dude. Yeah. Just talked so talk to us for like ten minutes. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't surprise me about him. He he really vibes off mm -hmm. people. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you guys, you know, spent a lot of time on the film together. What would you say was the most surprising thing uh, you guys learned about working together? 
I'd seen uh, some of, some of his interviews, and he's very smart and 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 um, great intellect. And and you go often when you're the lead actor and producer, you don't know if this person's. I heard good things, but you don't know if this person's going to come in already defensive, protect, fighting for the role. Right. And yeah. and I think what really stood out was his collaborative nature how easy it was how there was no games being played you know it was like that, that allows like chemistry on screen was absolutely great one chemistry yeah. chemistry is as friends working together no gay it was like you know there was no you know yeah. just, e e eagles are, are something that we deal with in life and i think it definitely deal with it on sets you know yeah so it's just i think to his point of same thing it felt like you know he's a producer and he's he's a lead actor and you're like you know you're trying to get this done so it's good to have the right environment to sort of create under and so having this moment it's like he was like hey you know if i got any ideas you know you mind if i you know share them with you because i like no because I'm, I'm i'm if you know as much about this the whole picture as i know and anything you can impart on me is going to help me yeah, so yeah, yeah. little things so we're like Feel the feel free to share and not right. feel like you gotta protect something like I know everything because I don't know everything and if it's yeah. something you notice, help me out and then I and if I have anything I'll, I'll try to give you something. But that having that right away, it, it was very helpful. Yeah, well, you're the military man. I was hoping you'd have some ideas. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Would you rather drink air like coffee or eat your own boogers? <laughs> boogers. That's a tough one. That, that's actually a good Oh, question. he probably knows it, but this, that water they use is recycled water, right? You shouldn't drink coffee on the airline. No comment on that one. See, I knew I it. I knew it. That's people drink coffee. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad. The coffee's great. I drink the coffee all the time. On the, on the, the airline. What do you mean recycled? The water they use. It's not, it's not recycled. Potable. It's like potable water that you yeah. get, but it's not. But potable no, water? No, it's totally drinkable. Potable water is But nice. it's boiled. Well, that water is different. It's boiled. Yeah. Anyways, okay. we're right. going to play a game now. All right. Somebody told me so, that to bring up. Right. Um, who is more likely, Gerard versus Mike, to crash land a plane successfully? Obviously him. Yeah. And I why? Did. What qualifications does he have to do that? He's tried it a few times in a simulator. And okay. uh, he almost, almost crashed a helicopter. And he didn't crash it. So there's that. He's okay. got more hours of flight school than I have because I have zero and he has a... Did you, did you actually go through a bunch of flight training like in a simulator? Absolutely, yeah. And, and by the way, that's what I learned to do. So I... Because in the movie, we're looking for a place to land. We're on the ocean. We're on land. We're, so I was flying around LA in the simulator going to try and land in the 101, the 405. No way. Um, yeah. And then um, uh, and then I, then I had to do it landing at an airport with one engine. Single then engine they landing. said, now we're effectively landing with one engine and part of the tail missing. So I literally came in sideways. But they said, <laughs> that would not have been a crash. I actually landed it, but it was kind of more like coming in like this. And again, that's, that's what I started doing this. Angle. I think if I use all my strength, <laughs> I, I might be able to turn <laughs> this 3,000 ton aircraft around. And um, yeah. Now, there is no full rescue team coming anytime soon. Not for the next 24 hours. What? All right, we can't wait. They're gonna come at us with everything they've got, and we're not gonna survive. Now, Daly and I managed to get the power back up on the plane. We only have one chance, and that is me flying us out of here on this thing. Most likely to survive in the jungle. I'd say me only because I've watched so many episodes of Naked and Afraid, and I'm not kidding you, I'm sitting going, oh, you don't do this, don't. Because they have people on those, on those shows that are just fans, who then they'll bring them on and have them try to survive 14 days. And some of those fans actually make it. Right. And it's because they watch the show wow. and then they go and take a, a couple, like a week's or two weeks course of, of survival instincts, like working on your fire making it skills, how to like how to like walk around barefoot for weeks just to get your feet ready for that kind of environment. You know, get the hobbit, with, those hobbit, hobbit feet, feet ready. Yeah, get yep. those hobbit feet ready. What, what, what kind of, how do I like skin, like skin, you know, animals, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I'm, I'm yep. up in the South and I, you know, I, I used to eat a lot of crazy stuff and I think I could probably get by. Craziest thing you've ever eaten? Mountain oysters, we call them. You, you know what those Testicles. are? Testicles. Yes. Yeah, me Hawk, too. Hawk's yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got in this weird raw diet for a long time and I had a couple of those, so. Oh, wait a minute, raw yeah. diet, holy cow. Yeah, that's all you eat raw, you ate them raw? Yeah. You ate, what? Yeah, yeah I think I got to on that. Wait, um, this wasn't on some drunken night out where you went the horse? <laughs> no, 100%. <laughs> that sober. was not a haul. Uh, rapid fire questions. All right, one word answers, you guys. Uh, if you were stranded on a desert island and could have one thing to have with you, what would it be? It could be a fire starter. Fire starter? Well, I GPS. GPS, that's the smart one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's on a desert island, he can't go anywhere. What are you gonna go? That's no, true. Oh, no, okay, wait a minute. What do you call a beacon that's Beacon, said, oh, well, that's too easy to find you. They'll find you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not fair. 
Are you going to start a fire and then nobody knows where you are? Let me change the question. It's something that's not going to get you rescued. You got to be there. <laughs> it's too easy. Okay. Then a fire starter. Fire starter. Fire starter, you guys agree. Fire right. starters. Favorite in-flight snack order? I've got opinions about this one. Favorite in um, uh. Anything I want? Or just Anything like, you want. Favorite in-flight. Or that you've gotten on airplanes before. Favorite in-flight snack. Uh, oh, I'm, I, only on only on flights do I get these, and it's gummy bears or Cheetos. Oh. I don't eat them at the Gummy eat, bears or Cheetos? I'm there. Yeah, that's oh, not like, At the airport, I'll get a bag of Cheetos. I don't know why. And gummy okay. bears. What's the, what's the craziest thing you ever had to do in pilot training? So one of the airlines I used to fly for, for basic in dock, um, they actually had this mock-up of like a 767 fuselage. And they had us come in that day with our bathing suits and just uh, casual attire. And this 76 fuselage was parked right next to the pool. And so they had us do like a regress, like if we had an emergency situation where we landed in the water in the ocean, uh, blowing the slides, like opening the door and actually getting into the pool, like on these rafts. And um, it was just very real life, like intense kind of training, like for the real world, if that were to happen, if uh, we were okay. to pitch. Um, but the, the mock-up is just so realistic and you feel like you're actually in it, jumping off the airplane, going into the slide wow. of this raft, having to erect this, the, uh, the canopy of the rafts and everything. And hopefully you never do that, you know, in real life, but Good to have that training. Well, we kind of did that in our movie. I oh, know. Yeah. That's kind of. I guess you yeah, guys are yeah, the ones yeah. that should be asking. I skipped yeah, that get... part. I wanted to. They wouldn't let me slide. They didn't want to see me come down. You didn't get to handcuffs. do the slide? Oh, I was in my handcuffs. They didn't want me to do it. They were like, eh, not oh, sexy. Not as sexy. That's a lie. He didn't want to do it. Shh. He said, I'm scared. Shh. That's hey, scared. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. Make me look tough. <laughs>